Hi, this is Christina Etheridge with leadsandleverage.com. Today I'm going to show you how you should be uploading any links that you want to share on your Facebook page um, if you also want to include a separate photo. There is a, a knack to it or a trick to it, if you will. So I'm on my page here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and go in here to the status update bar. Now the first thing you want to do is actually upload the photo. You do not want to put your text or your link in there. The reason why is because if you put your link in there first, it will pull in whatever photos are in the link itself rather than the photo that you're pulling up so that when you go ahead and put up the when you go ahead and upload your photo, your photo will be reduced to the tiny little size that the link is. So you, and you want your photo to stand out. So the first thing we're going to do is upload a photo. I'm going to do an actual ad um, for Refreshed, which is a um, weekly Facebook marketing to-do that I provide. So I'm going to go in here, and I, where did I call it? there it is. So there's the photo I'm uploading. You can't see all of it, but you will in a minute. And I did size it appropriately, 1200 by 717. So that's gonna, when I do a highlight across my whole page, it'll come across. Now in here, I can actually put the text um, that I wanna put in. And I'm gonna flip over and go get the text and bring it back over here. So my text is all set up. It also includes the link, but the link is not gonna pull up. It'll be clickable, but it won't pull up and dominate. It's my photo that's going to dominate. So now I'm going to um, schedule that post. Let me double check that, the 12th at 7 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna schedule it. And then you can actually go see on the activity log what it's going to look like. Let's see, I need to see show more. Go down. I'm sorry, have to keep scrolling here. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. This is what they'll see instead of whatever photo was on the link. And and additionally, it will also stand out larger like it's doing right now instead of a little tiny link post. I might have a little, you, you know what I'm talking about though, the little, little ones that have a little link. Anyway, this video is already longer than it should have been. So that is what you do. You always upload the photo first, then you put your link text in the status box. If you have any questions, just send me an email or send me a Facebook message. Again, this is Christina with leadsandleverage.com. Thanks so much.